Welcome back to the channel. My name is Derek and this is my wife Jasmine and we're also known as the ATL Flippers. We're full-time resellers on eBay and Macari. Did y'all catch that? ATL Flippers with an S. So oh yeah. we are making it official. Right? Oh yeah, it is official guys. We have officially changed our YouTube channel name from the ATL Flipper to the ATL Flippers. So with that being said, today's video, we have another what sold for you guys. We had a crazy month in November, crazy. and so we wanted to show you guys some of the items that we sold and what we flipped it for. So let's go ahead and get into it. All right, you guys, so the first item up, we sold these Nike Air Max kit shoes. These are size four. You see, great quality, Those great nice. condition. Yeah, we got it at Goodwill, y'all, for $5. We ended up flipping it for $40. And then we sold a pair of Jordan 4s, and these sold for $128 free shipping and we ended up paying $6 for these at Goodwill. Next, you guys, was this men's Adidas tracksuit you got. <laughs> okay, this men's Adidas tracksuit, yeah, size 50, <laughs> but it comes with the pants. I don't know if you guys can see this. So this was actually a sample that we got, you guys, and we have about less than $10 in it, yeah. but we ended up selling it, tell them, babe, for $90, oh, yeah. free shipping. Thank so if you, you see, if you see sample clothing, make sure you look it up. The samples sell very well because they're like one of a kind. Ah, get in my workout on. See the muscles right there. Ah. <laughs> it's because he can't work out his foot, y'all. It's still broke. <laughs> but anyway, y'all, look. We picked up this body blade. This body blade. We paid $4 for it, and it sold for $45. And it also came with, with the workout poster. Yep, y'all see that? All the different positions. So this body blade actually will work out your whole body. You can work your arms. You can work your legs. You can go different ways like that or whatever. But it's a really... Um, good item for a lot of people who want to stay at home or, you know, it can be at the gym too, but they want to work out without using um, uh, weights or whatever. They can use this body blade and it gives them a really good workout. The next item we had was these toddler Jordan 1 shoes. You guys, we got these from a friend for about $5, but we ended up flipping it for $50. And then the next item we sold, y'all, was this Joe Johnson Atlanta Hawks jersey. And we actually picked this up from another reseller. We uh, ended up buying out like a ton mm -hmm. of jerseys and shoes and stuff from him. Yep. And um, we actually had like $3 into this jersey, but we sold it for $30 free shipping. Okay, so for the Stranger Things fans out there, you're gonna love this next item. We oh, yeah. sold this ugly sweater, Christmas sweater. Why you gotta call it ugly though? I don't know, it's not ugly, it's but not ugly. <laughs> <laughs> we sold it for $23, you guys. We paid only $3 for this at Value Village. And side note, Stranger Things actually films here in Atlanta. Oh yeah, it does. Oh yeah. Why you gotta call it ugly though? The next item we sold was a pair of Rock Revival women jeans. They're actually brand new, and we sold them for $55, and we paid $8 for them at Goodwill. Yep, and then next up, you guys, we sold these women's Vapor Max shoes, these Nikes. They were five wide. We ended up paying about $6 for them at Goodwill, but we ended up flipping it for $70. Let's go! And then we picked up these David Eden shoes. Y'all, I keep telling y'all, David Eden is a really good brand to look out for. David Eden. If you see these shoes, make sure you look up the cups, of course, but they sell very well. And um, we paid, I believe it was like, what, $10 for them, but they end up selling for $100 free shipping. David Eden, if you see it, pick it up. And next up, you guys, we sold these men's Ugg boots. We sold it for $50, and we only paid about $6 for it because everybody loves Uggs, right? The next item that sold for us was a pair of Jordan Retro 12 Fibas, and they were a size 12C and Tyler. We sold these y'all for $42 and we only have $5 into them. And we actually picked these up from our neighbor that sold us their uh, kid shoes. We love our neighbors. They're awesome. <laughs> Next item up was this Kansas City vintage snapback hat, you guys. We sold it for $19 and we only paid $1.99 for it at Goodwill. And Crazy. funny note, the person that bought this is actually from Kansas City, go figure. <laughs> <laughs> and then we sold this 3D View Master. This toy, guys, is actually vintage. I believe it was like 1980 or whatever. I remember um, playing it growing up. Yeah, yeah. uh-huh. It used to change to different uh, cities and countries and stuff. Yep. Yeah, it was pretty exactly. cool. We ended up selling this one for $26 and we only have $3 into it. Then we picked up these Timberland boots. These are actually a size four in youth. And we sold these y'all for $60 free shipping and we only paid $6 for these boots. Boots are selling very well right now, especially because we're in the winter months and we're in the fourth quarter. So if you see boots, make sure you pick them up. All right, here's the next song. Right. Who lives in a pineapple under the sea? SpongeBob SquarePants! Oh. 
Okay, y'all, so listen. I think, I think that's the... That is it. We will forever oh, okay. love Spongebob, okay, for the record. We sold this next item, you guys. It was a Spongebob plug-and-play controller. It was so cute, man. Yeah. It had the little Spongebob in the package. Plug it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so we got it, what was it, for about $3? Yep. And we ended up flipping it for $17. So, not bad, right? Spongebob Squarepants! Then we sold a pair of Crocs, y'all. These Crocs sell actually very well. For some reason, Crocs, man, is like back on the map, man. Everybody loves Crocs. Everybody loves Crocs. Yes. So we paid, I believe it was like $11, $12 for these Crocs, but they sold for $50 free shipping. Oh, yeah. All right, y'all. So we doubled up on this next item. Next <laughs> items. How about that? So we actually sold two items to the same buyer. The first one was the men LeBron shoes that we sold, and we also sold some men's Air Force ones. So all together, we sold it for $90, you guys, and we had $6 into each shoe. So $12 to $90. Not oh, bad yeah, to me. Really good. Then we sold this Adidas long sleeve white sweatshirt. And it's actually a thick, really thick material. And we sold it for $25. We found it at Goodwill. And um, yeah, man, it was crazy because we only paid $3 for it. So we had these men's Nike Air Force Ones as well, you guys. We only yep. paid about $6 for it. We ended up flipping it for $50. But here's the thing. These shoes, the material was called Nubuck. Super smooth, y'all. I wish I had it to show you guys, but it was smooth like this guy. You know it. <laughs> then we sold these David Eden ostrich green shoes and y'all David Eden is a really good brand to look out for like we said already <laughs> but these sold for $80 and we picked them up at Goodwill for $6 then we sold these Nike Air Max 270s all red colorway and these are actually really really nice man like when I saw these I was like if these were my size I'd probably have to keep them mm -hmm. but we ended up selling them for $52 and we only have $6 into these um, from Goodwill. And the next item up, you guys, so y'all already know the season. So we sold this really dope Christmas set. It's yeah. the Hallmark <laughs> Special Edition, but it was a Christmas ornament. We ended up getting this item, you guys, for about $3, but we had a set of what, like yeah. eight or like nine eight of them? them yeah. We only have like three left, but we sold it for $25. All right, you guys, then we sold these Jordan 1's toddler shoes. We got these for about three or $4 at yeah. Value Village, mm -hmm. but we ended up selling it, you guys, for $39, which is a great price for toddler price. shoes. Toddler shoes, actually sell very well. And then the next item y'all that we sold was this, uh, um, was not, I was about to say Michael Jordan because you know he's the greatest player of all time. If you guys don't think that, let me know in the comments. Let us uh -oh. know in the comments who is the greatest player of all time. But Michael Jordan, he's the greatest player of all time to me, all right? Oh, no time for Mr. Nah, but we, uh, <laughs> we got this uh, LeBron James uh, Cavalier jersey and we also got this from the other reseller that we, you know, bought items from or whatever. And um, yeah, we only got $3 into it and we sold it for $35 free shipping. Oh, yeah. Michael Jordan's the greatest. <laughs> All right, you guys, for the record, we were running a crazy sale at the end of November. So a lot of our prices, we were offering sales out the wazoo, but yeah. it was really good because we got so many items sold and we got a flip. Yep, so uh, we ended up selling these pair of Jordan Retro Ones and we pay, I think it was like six or seven dollars for it, but we end up selling it y'all for seventy dollars. Oh yeah. And the next item, you guys, so I struggled with this one a little bit. Mm. I've never seen co-branded hats before. So this next item was a Florida State and Atlanta Braves hat, you it's guys. Crazy. It took forever Weird. for me to find it. Matter of fact, babe, I think you had to find it for me. Yeah. We ended up yeah. selling it, you guys, for $39 though. So I'm glad we took time because we only spent about $199 for it at Value Village and we flipped yeah. it for $40. And the next item up, you guys, so look, it's in the box. We got oh, yeah. these Nike foam posits. Let me show y'all the beauties. Hope y'all can see that. I love it. So we got these Nike foam posits, you guys. So we got about $10 into these shoes. Yeah. And we ended up flipping it, y'all, for $110. $10. Oh, yeah. And then we sold a pair of Jordan 1s. These were size four and a half in youth. And we sold these for $55, I believe it was. Uh, I think we paid like $6 for it. Yeah, it was $55. Yep. Yeah, I had to look at my phone right here, guys, you know, to help me out, you know. Keep a man check. Yeah, her memory is way better than mine, so <laughs> I need to find it. Glad you said it. Y'all, this next sale was crazy. It was insane, y'all. We found this Harris Tweed blazer, y'all. Mm -hmm. $6 at Goodwill, only $6. And we sold it for $150. Harris Tweed is a really good brand. It took a while to sell, right? But the thing is, Harris Tweed, like the wool type of material, if you see those in the thrift store, make sure it doesn't have any holes in it because, you know, moths like the land and eat on it and stuff, yeah. you know? But if you see those in the thrift store, look them up, y'all. They sell very, very well. Yes, $150, that was a good Crazy, <laughs> yeah. If you're liking this video so far, make sure you go ahead and like and subscribe. And also let us know down in the comments any items that you guys are finding that's selling really well for the holidays or your favorite item that you've seen so far. 
Let's get back to the video. And next up, you guys, we sold this Rip It softball safety mask. We ended up getting this item, you guys, from Goodwill for about $4, but mm. we ended up selling it for $30. So. <laughs> but it only sat on the shelf, you guys, for about a month. So pretty quick flip. Yeah, then we sold these Jordan Retro 11s, and they're actually a size four and taller. Baby, baby uh, shoes. <laughs> shoes. They're actually really nice. But yeah, so we ended up getting these for $3, and we sold these for $26 free shipping. Kid shoes, toddler shoes, they sell well for us. So a lot of people say, you know, they don't mess with kid shoes, but we love selling kid yes. shoes. Yes, and the shipping is super low on that because yeah. we ship it first, first class. class. Next up were these black men's red wing shoes, you guys. Y'all see these shoes are bigger than my head. Yep, and bigger, bigger than my head. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys, so we ended up getting these shoes for about $6, $6, $7. Yep. What we didn't realize though were these are brand new, y'all. Can y'all see that? Steel toe red wing shoes. So we ended up actually selling these for $80. So really glad that we picked these up and Oh, shit. oh yeah. Then we sold three pairs of Nike Air Foam Posits in a uh, toddler size. And y'all, the person who wanted these, they didn't just buy one pair, but they bought not two pair, but three pairs. And they um, bundled it up together. So we ended up selling it for $97. And we actually got these from a friend. We got like $5 um, into each of them. So around mm -hmm. $15 total. And yeah, we sold it for $97. Listen, everybody loves a bundle. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all. And next up, we sold these men's Tony Llama boots, you guys. We only paid about $6 for them at yeah. Goodwill, but we ended up selling it for $50. Can't beat that. Next up, we sold these 66 degree north women's pants. They were a size large. We sold these, you guys, for $65. Yeah. And we only paid $5 for it at Goodwill. You can't beat that. And yeah. what you'll notice with these pants, they actually... Um, so through the global shipping yeah, program. Yeah, the global shipping yep. program. So it's really dope. You know, it's not just people in the U.S. buying our items at the store. You yeah. know, it's people across the sea. So. And whenever you ship through the global shipping program, all you do is you just ship the item. I know for us, we ship mm -hmm. to the um, Kentucky. And then they end up shipping to the buyer. And I believe, like, the buyer, whoever, whoever uh, country they live in, their postal service will charge them a fee. And then they pay it. And then they get it shipped to them. So it's okay, it's safe to, uh, to ship yeah, <laughs> and right. sell you know, overseas. Then we sold these pair of black polka shoes. They're actually my size, a size 10, but they're actually a wide. So I can't wear wide, you know, my feet, you know, it's not fat like that. But, but, can't um, wear no shoes right now, how about that? Yeah, I, I can't. I only can wear <laughs> on the left side. You can wear a boot though. Whatever girl, <laughs> crazy. But yeah, but these uh, Hoka shoes, they sold for $60, and we only have $6 into them from Goodwill. Yep, and the next item up, you guys, were these Jordan 14 candy cane shoes. They were size five wide. You guys, we paid about $8 for it at- Salvation Army. Thank you, Salvation Army. Uh -huh. And we ended up selling it, you guys, for $91, again, with the global shipping program. So, you know, we expand in our borders, <laughs> you know? Yep. Next were these Nike Air Force One shoes, you guys. We got it from Value Village for about $6. We ended up mm -hmm. flipping it, though, for $66. $6. And it took like two weeks, y'all, yep, to flip. it was quick. And then we sold a pair of Jordan Retro 11s. Man, Man. If these were my size. I would have to keep them, y'all. I ain't gonna lie. Keep all the shoes. Uh, just, just like, you know, over half of them. That's like. <laughs> but yeah, guys, we end up picking these up from a friend. And we have like five, six dollars into them. But they sold for $58 free shipping. And they also come with the box. Oh, yeah. Then we sold this Philadelphia Eagles jersey. It sold for $30 free shipping. And this is another jersey that we picked up from the reseller. And um, yeah, man, we only got like $3 into it. And it's crazy, y'all. These jerseys are flying off the shelf. And the Uggs are flying off the shelf too, y'all. Because the they next are. item we sold, these men's slippers, crazy. you guys. So many Uggs that we sold this month. But it's all good because we ended up selling it for, how much, babe? Uh, $65. $65. And we only had about 5 or $6 into it. I love this next item, you guys. <laughs> the next item we sold were these women's knee-high Timberland boots. They were so cute, y'all. So nice. cute. We only had it for about a week. But we ended up picking it up from Value Village for about $9.99. You guys, we ended up selling this item for $110. Cha-ching! Cha yes. And then we sold this pair of men Timberland boots. And we actually picked these up at Goodwill for $7. And they sold for $50 free shipping. Then we sold an ex officio. I think that's how you say it. Yeah, you said it good. Yeah. But we picked up this ex officio hoodie. And it sold for $30. And we only have $6 into it. And what's crazy is I've never seen this before. So I actually tried it on. And when I tried it on, you actually can zip it up all the way. Where it's like covered up your face and everything. Mm -hmm. So I guess people wear it where if they're outside, bugs, you know, can't get in their face and everything like that. But they can Ooh, still nice. see through the hoodie. 
So yeah, it was a cool pickup and a great sale. Yep, and if you guys remember a few videos ago, we talked about the Belusva candle. <laughs> it sold, you guys. Yeah. What, it's been like two weeks? No, it's actually been like like two months, I think. Oh, okay. It's been a while. Maybe a little bit longer, but we ended up selling it, you guys. We only paid about $1.99 for it, and we ended up selling it for $25. So thank you, Belusva. <laughs> Next up were these Adidas Centennial Low Shoes. You guys saw a few videos ago, we only paid $6 for it at Goodwill. We ended up flipping it, you guys, for $55. And the other great thing about this item I love is y'all see positive feedback received. So that's always a great thing. And then the next item we sold was a pair of Nike Bo Jackson shoes. Y'all, this is crazy right here. I only paid $20 for them from a friend, and he was trying to, you know, make some little extra money, so I ended up buying them from him. But these sold for $160 free shipping. I love it. The cool thing about this too, y'all, is that when a pair of shoes sell for over $100, we ship the shoes to the eBay authenticator. They authenticate the shoes and then they send it to the buyer. And what's also, also about it, guys, check this out. There are no fees yes. over $100. Haha, <laughs> let's get it. Oh yeah. The next item we sold was a pair of cool, not C-O-L, but K-U-H-L. This is a really, 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 really good brand, y'all. That's a really cool brand. Oh, that was, that would've been dope. This was a really cool brand. But we picked up these cool pants and they sold for $60, y'all, yeah. free shipping. And what's crazy is we only paid $4 for them from Salvation Army. Oh, I love it. Yeah, it's so dope, y'all. And then the next item we sold you guys were these toddler size 12 Timberland boots. Y'all already know uh -huh. we've been selling Timberlands like crazy. We only paid $3 for it, but we ended up flipping it for 30. All right, and next up, you guys, we sold these Jordan Retro Ones, these toddler shoes 10C. We only paid $3 for it, but we yeah. flipped it for 30. And then we sold these Nike Lunar shoes. And these shoes, I actually used to have a pair of these and they feel very, very, very comfortable when you wear them. But we ended up paying $6 for them at uh, Goodwill and we ended up selling them for $59 free shipping. Yeah, he just wanted to hold on me. That's it. <laughs> then we sold this PlayStation 2 game and we only have like 25 cents into it, but we ended up selling it for $29 free shipping. Oh yeah, and the next item, you guys, y'all know how much we love Carhartt. So we found this men's Carhartt jacket, you guys. We only paid about $10 for it at Salvation Army. Yeah. We ended up flipping it though for $89. So just a really quick note, Carhartt usually does really well for us. So the jeans, the jackets, and here's yeah. one great thing about Carhartt, even if there are like little holes and stuff in it, you can still get it and you can still flip it for money because the quality of this product is amazing, you really guys. Good. So Carhartt, be on the lookout for it. We love the educational games, you guys. This next item we sold was a brand new leapfrog Crazy. game. Crazy deal, you guys, because we got it for 25 cents, but we ended up flipping it for $50. And then we picked up these ASIC high knee women boots. And these, uh, we actually picked them up, I think, at like at the uh, Value Village. I can't remember if it's so Goodwill. Cute. But yeah, they're actually really nice, man. But long story short, we ended up selling these for $75, y'all. And you. we only have $7 into them. Then we sold a pair of Jordan Retro Ones. We sold them for $50, and we only have $6 into them from Goodwill. But look, Jordan Retro Ones actually sell very well. The lows sell well, and the highs sell well. But the mids, they take a little time, but they can take a little time to sell. But I'm glad that these sold for $50. Yep, and the next item, you guys, we sold this yellow North Face high vent jacket. We sold it for $35, and we only paid $5 for it at Goodwill. Then we sold a pair of Nike Air Max 270s and they sold for $70 and we picked these up from our friend and we only have like five dollars into them And the next item you guys we sold was amazing. amazing So let me just say for the record that when he came to me in the store and he was showing me this item I didn't think it was gonna flip. Mm -hmm. Can I be honest? That's babe? true. But listen y'all we found this nativity set by Avon. It was vintage It was a 13 piece set you guys. So I was wrong because we sold this item for $160 Good job, babe. Oh, yeah. And we only paid about $20 for the items at Salvation Army. So, shout out to them because, A, we flipped it for $160. Oh, yeah. Merry Christmas. All right, next up, you guys, we sold these women's fry boots, F-R-Y-E. We sold them, you guys, for $75, and we only paid about $7 for this item. And then we picked up, like, a year ago, <laughs> <laughs> right. I picked up this Free People women's cream jacket. And I thought Free People, you know, it's, it's a pretty good brand that's going to sell fast. So it's set for a year. And we sold it for $45. And we only have like $6 into it. But yeah, like Free People, we don't pick it up anymore because, you know, it, it, doesn't, do, yeah, it doesn't do very well for us anymore. <laughs> 
this next item we sold, we gotta give a shout out, y'all, to Missy. She's also known as the Night City Seller on hey YouTube girl. and on Instagram. But y'all, she sent us these pair of shoes, and these shoes sold for $80, and we have $0 into them. So thank you again, Missy. You. We really appreciate it, and we love you, girl. Oh, yeah. The next item we sold, you guys, were these youth Nike up-tempo shoes. We only paid $3 for it, and we ended up selling it for $50. The next item we sold was a pair of Jordan Retro 1 Lows. I told you guys earlier that the highs sell very well and the lows, but we sold these for $65 and we picked these up from our neighbor for around like $10. Mm -hmm. Then you guys, we sold these Youth Doc Martin shoes. You guys, these came with the box, okay? Nice, super nice. Anytime the box is there, you know, we can always get a little bit more. We had about $5 into it, but we ended up selling it, you guys, for $60. Then we sold this Microsoft curved ergonomic keyboard and it sold for $35 and we only have $4 into it and I think we picked it up at Value Village or Google, I can't remember which one. <laughs> Next up you guys, we sold these Pete Moccasin Ugg slippers. Very we nice. only paid, yeah they were so nice, I was tempted to keep them but nah, <laughs> we ended up flipping it you guys. So we only paid about $6 for it but we ended up flipping it for $45. Then we sold this Kodak carousel slide projector. You guys, we ended up getting this item from Value Village for about $10, but we sold yeah. it for $119. So really quickly, just one of the important things when you get electronics, make sure you test it out. We were able to test it out in the yeah. store, make sure it works and all of that good stuff. If you're not able to test it out though, just sell it as is, but you always wanna check the items. And then we sold these uh, Junior Nike Golf Clubs, and we only paid, I believe it was like ten dollars for them at a uh, value village but we end up selling them for 119 dollars golf clubs they sell very very well we sold this ll bean women's jacket it was cute too y'all i'll be tempted nice but we still sold it though yeah. <laughs> so we got this item for six dollars but we ended up flipping it for 55 dollars let's go then we sold a pair of black timberland boots <laughs> we're laughing because she's you know she wanted to go first Right it now, was my turn but to I just took over. But yeah, so we sold these Timberland boots and we sold them for, let me see, $60, y'all. $60 and we only paid $10 for them at Value Village. The next item up, you guys, were these Nike 270 shoes. We ended up paying $5.99 for it, but we ended up flipping it for $50. Yep, $50. <laughs> then we sold these Nike Air Max Plus. The colorway were dope on these, y'all. Yes, but we ended up picking these up from our neighbor for $10 and we sold these for $56 free shipping. Yep. Next up, you guys, we sold these Born Fly, because we were Born Fly. Oh, you already know. <laughs> All right, these Born Fly jeans, you guys, we got it for $8 at Goodwill. We ended up selling it for $42. And then the last item, y'all, this is crazy. We finally sold that first light camouflage, uh, whatever, Zip vest. Up vest. Yeah, yes. yeah, but we picked it up at Goodwill not even like a month ago. Yeah. And we ended up selling it for $120 free shipping. Let's go! Y'all, it was crazy sales, crazy. like you said. A lot of these sales, you guys, were from Black Friday. We did a crazy discount in our store. So a lot of items that you guys saw, we saw back to back on the same day. Yeah, so yeah. I love items. it though, because this is how we pay our bills. Yep. <laughs> and the reason why we make these What's Old videos is for you guys, not to show off what we sold, you know, but we wanna make sure that we let you guys know what these items are and what they're selling for so that you guys can go and pick them up, all right? All right, you guys, let's get an update on our family member, the ATL Chipper. Look at him, y'all. <laughs> so it looks like he's puffing up because he's been eating well. So, good job. We've been alternating, making sure that he has everything that he needs, and he looks like he's so cozy in his new spot. So, hey, ATL Chipper is doing good, you guys. Awesome. Look at the 